Today I'm in Pensacola, Florida, and I'm headed out to do another fish taste test. The target species, Jack Kerbal. Looks like a rain jacket kind of day. That's better. Dude, this, these conditions are so bad. <laughs> like literally they're so bad. Oh man, these conditions are terrible. I just got down here to the marina. Uh, we've got the south wind is literally blowing 20 plus. Uh, it's cloudy and raining and there's a big big rainstorm coming up from the gulf it should be here in an hour so i don't have much time to fish i'm not going to get to go to the normal spots that i wanted to go so i'm just going to have to make do um and and stay close but uh I, I don't know i'm this is out of all the challenges i've ever done i'm feeling the least optimistic about this one let's go fishing Look at those flags, that wind is gassing. That is one ugly duck right there. I feel so bad for that duck, he's so ugly. All right, boat looks good, gassed up. We've got some live bait. It's time to go fishing. I've got about one hour to make it happen. All right, I just got out here to my spot. Man, it is, uh, we've got a huge rainstorm coming. I mean, a bad one, so I don't have long to fish. Uh, I just kind of picked a spot that I've caught Jack Kerval at in the past this time of year. Now, I haven't fished this spot in probably a year for Jack Kerval, so uh, I don't know what to expect. But let me show you how I'm rigging, guys. I'm gonna show you how I'm rigging up right now. On this first rig, I'm just casting a lure. Uh, I'm casting a Berkeley Gulp swimming mullet. Uh, I catch a lot of fish on this bait. It's just kind of a good all around uh, artificial lure to cast for these fish. Uh, but then I'm setting out a live bait as well. So you can see here that I have a Carolina rig with a live shrimp, a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader, and a, about a number four Mutu light owner circle hook. So this is a good all around rig for anything in these bayous. There's a lot of shrimp up in these bayous right now. So that's why I'm using shrimp for bait. Uh, fish bait's hard to get, it's the winter time. So I gotta go with what I can get, but uh, I'm about to set the rods out. I'm about to start fishing and we're gonna see what we can catch. All right, so I got my live bait set out. Now I'm just gonna start casting this gulp and see what happens. It's already starting to rain. God. All right, I'm sitting out here in the rain. I've had no bites yet. I can't even film because it's raining so hard. <laughs> I'm not feeling very optimistic uh, about, this, uh, about this challenge. I don't know if it's gonna happen, guys. I see a little sunshine off in the distance, so I'm hoping we get some sunshine where I can break out the cameras and start fishing again. Right now, nothing. All right guys, so it quit raining. Uh, we have a little small window here to film. So I've got hardly no time and I'm gonna try to catch, uh, I'm gonna try to catch a fish. So here it goes. All right, so right now I've got my live bait set out in the back. I'm casting this artificial lure. 
Uh, nothing yet, no bites, uh, but we're just gonna keep at it here for a little while. Like I said, we don't have much time to fish today. Oh, I just got a good bite. I just got a good bite on the artificial lure. Dude, a really good bite. Oh crap, something just grabbed my rod back here. My live bait rod just went off back here. Oh yeah, live bait rod just went off. That's a decent fish right here. I don't know what it is, but that is a decent fish. Let's see what we got. Oh my God, dude, no. <sighs> dude, that was a Jack Creval. Oh my God, I'm sick to my stomach. That was a Jack Creval. I'm literally sick to my stomach. That was a nice, just perfect size Jack Creval. That's the one I wanted, dude. Oh my gosh. I'm so mad right now. I am so upset. I just lost a Jack Creval five feet from the boat. The perfect size Jack Creval to take home and eat. I don't know if we're gonna get another chance like this. Like I'm sick to my stomach, I really am. Like I'm really sick to my stomach. Like I cannot believe it. I didn't think I was gonna even hang one or catch anything today, and I just had a Jack Creval boat side. Whew. Let's keep fishing, let's keep fishing. Dude, I got him. I got something. I don't know what it is. It's fighting pretty good. It's fighting pretty good. Come on. Be the right species. Oh, yes. Look at here. Oh, yes. Look. Check it out, guys. It's a Jack Creval. No way. I hadn't. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Yes. We've got a Jack Creval. <laughs> that is awesome. That is awesome. I did not think I was going to catch one of these today. I mean, this isn't South Florida, so we don't have a ton of Jack Creval down here. Uh, we have a few big ones, but not a lot of the small to medium sized uh, fish that I wanted to try to eat. So I could just cannot believe that I caught this fish today. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh, man. All right. He's going in the ice chest, man. I'm gonna keep fishing a few more minutes just to see what else I can catch. Uh, we've got a huge rainstorm coming. So I caught him just before the rainstorm hit. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. All right, guys, I'm headed to the house. Man, we have a big, big rainstorm coming. So I didn't get any other bites. All I had were those two fish hooked up the whole day. So, but hey, that is way better than I was expecting to do. Uh, like I, I'm just super excited right now. I finally get to do the Jack Herbal taste test. So I'm going home right now. We're gonna clean him up and we're gonna see what he tastes like. I made it back just in time, guys. We got a huge storm coming right up, uh, right up from the Gulf right now. So uh, man, I, I literally fished for about an hour, got the job done, and uh, made it back to the marina. So it could not have gone better. <laughs> Could not have gone better. I had to get a bag of ice to keep my fish fresh. Let's go ice him down and head home. I forgot my cooler, so a five gallon bucket will have to do. I'm over here trying to clean my Jack Herbal and eat it, and look at this weather I'm dealing with. It's literally flooding here in Pensacola. I got off the water just in time. Ooh, there's bad lightning, gotta go. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of lightning. 
All right, the rain has finally calmed down enough for me to get this done. I've got my fish right here. I'm about to clean them, take them inside, and eat them. Now, I'm really curious to see what this meat looks like because I've never cleaned one before. So here goes nothing. Man, it's kind of tough. They have really tough skin. Okay, Inter very interesting looking meat. It almost has a little bit of a tuna color. Uh, it's not quite as red, but it is definitely a red, a red meat for sure. All right, here's my two jack fillets right here. Uh, I'm gonna take them inside. I'm just gonna be simple with it. Little uh, butter, olive oil, salt, and pepper. Uh, that's it. Throw them on the skillet, uh, and we're gonna see how they taste. So, uh, man, I'm excited. I've never, I've caught tons of jack carval throughout my life, but I've never eaten one. So, this is gonna be an experience. I've got the skillet heating up right now. I'm just gonna lightly season these fish right now with a little salt and pepper. That's it. I want the fish in its most natural state to really see what it tastes like. So I'm gonna salt and pepper it. We're gonna wait for it to heat up and then uh, we're gonna start cooking. All right, we're almost ready right here. <clears throat> the grease is getting hot. Look at that. All right, here goes nothing. I'm gonna let those go about a minute or two on each side and we'll be ready to eat our Jack Carval. I'm excited, man. I've caught these my entire life and I've never even thought to eat one. So this is gonna be an experience. All right, guys, she's ready. She's ready. Let's take them off the skillet. Right here, guys. My Jack Creval experience. Okay. It's very, very interesting. It's not bad at all. Uh, but it doesn't really taste like any other fish that I've had. Uh, it's a very almost crab-like texture. Uh, it's not quite as sweet as crab, but I, if, if I l literally thought I was eating crab when I put that Jack Carval in my mouth because that's what the texture's like. Uh, I'm actually gonna have another bite. Um, it's not fishy at all. There, there's no fishiness to it at all. It's very mild, actually, very mild. Um, man, that's pretty dang good. Um, now, I don't know if the big ones taste that good, but that right there is a smaller Jack Carval, and I would eat it again. Um, I, I really do like it. I'm not even kidding. It's not bad. Now, it doesn't have the flavor as some fish that I've eaten, but if you like a mild fish meat that kind of has uh, a crab-like texture, man, that Jack Carval is it. That, that is, uh, it's not bad at all. I don't know where they got this bad reputation from. It almost makes me mad that certain fish get these reputations because, man, that's pretty good. I'll, I'll, I'll start keeping them on my charters for my clients. I can promise you that. I promise I'm going to start keeping those on my charter for my, uh, for my clients because, uh, man, that's really, really good fish. It's not bad at all. So, uh, hey, Jack Carval, if you like the video, shoot me a thumbs up. Let me know that you like it. I'll keep doing more. You guys have a great week.